What's up, guys, and welcome to the Trustless Treasure Show, where we talk about all things crypto, NFT, blockchain. Today, we're going to be talking about Immutable X staking. They just announced their staking program, what that's going to look like, when it will roll out, and what we might expect. So today, we're going to talk about how to set that up, how to make sure that you have everything in place correctly, what we might expect in terms of rewards, and a little more info from there. So with that, let's jump in. Quick disclaimer, I am invested in the Mutable X token. Before I shoot on any project, just like you guys to know that I do have financial interest, but always will try to remain objective about what we're looking at here. So with that, let's jump over and check out IMX's staking program. So let's kind of just quickly breeze through here. So excited to announce staking, uh, it'll start July first. All right. So move your IMX tokens to an IMX layer two wallet before them. That's one thing we're going to talk about today. There's a lot of questions out there of what's a layer two wallet. How do I make sure I get my tokens there? We'll talk about that here in just a minute. It, you'll get automatic rewards for active IMX users at the end of each cycle. Before switching to a self-custodial process, we'll look at that in just a second. All right, to be eligible, you must have your Immutable X in a Layer 2 wallet. It needs to hold a minimum of 10 IMX tokens throughout the cycle. Uh, it looks like the cycles here are going to be about 30 days. In the white paper, it mentioned 14, but for now, those are always subject to change. So this is looking like a 30-day cycle or a monthly cycle. You do have to trade at least one NFT during the cycle, which is a little strange. It didn't uh, sit well with me at first, but I'll tell you. Um, a little bit more about that and how we might get around that going forward. So uh, rewards will be distributed to your eligible uh, wallet. So whatever wallet you're holding that in, that's where you'll get your reward. It'll be based on the minimum, your minimum IMX token holding across relative to other wallets. So basically your percentage of the total pool or the total people staking is the percent of the staking pool that you will be eligible for. We'll look at some numbers here in a minute for that. Staking rewards for each cycle will be based on uh, protocol fees. Uh, looks like an, a second state uh, staking phase. They will have a dashboard to help better understand this because I think a lot of people are making a lot of assumptions right now and a lot of guesses. So they're talking about the industry events and how we believe um, stakers should have full custodial or control of their assets. So using hard wallets or other things like that. Withdrawals shouldn't ever be paused. Um, I think everyone would agree with that. Um, but this self-custodial implementation is taking more time. So that's why they, there is a delay with rolling this out. Um, so lastly, with the launch of staking, we'll be shared with our community fully aligning the process together. Cool. So let's jump in. That's the, the kind of uh, overall staking program. So let's first talk about the first piece of this layer two wallet. So lots of discussion around what is a layer two wallet? How do I make sure my wallet is layer two? If we'll go out to, we're going to start looking at Immutable X. So if you're familiar with the Immutable X marketplace, um, this the link here is market.immutable.com. So once you log into the site and you connect your wallet, you are able to add funds via the balances tab. So this is connected to my MetaMask wallet. Um, we're going to look at a hard wallet um, scenario in just a minute. But essentially, you can go out here and add funds to your Immutable X account. And essentially, that is a layer two wallet since everything on Immutable X is layer two. So you can do this add funds process. Um, you can do it via credit card or make a deposit from another wallet. So if you see, if I start to go this route, it will go through um, the MetaMask uh, connect here or connect to to a hard wallet. So if we go here and we go to set this up, um, we'll come in here. And for this account, I already do have a ledger account took to my MetaMask wallet. But if you guys want more info on that, let me know. We can shoot a video around how to do that. So connect to the ledger. Uh, we're going to try to connect. Let's see, sign to give access. It's one of my, I got to uh, log into my uh, ledger quickly to sign this. Here we go. All right, so I did have to sign that on my ledger live. So I just did that. We're going to set up the key. Sign here. And as you can see, this setup time will, will likely take some process. But guys, so you can do this via MetaMask or you can just deposit those funds in there directly. I'll keep you guys posted on this, but I wanted to talk a little bit about what we can expect in terms of return. So if you're not familiar with Immutascan, Immutascan is kind of the stats or the metadata behind all transactions that take place on the immutable network. And you can go out here and see things about project, overall trade volume, unique owners, things like that. You can dig into the top 
projects. But anyway, what I did is took the, uh, just to try to understand what we might expect in terms of rewards here, I took the 30 day volume for the top 10 projects just to give us some idea of what we might expect and put those, uh, put that information here. So these are, this is the 30 day volume. So a total of 9 million and immutable kit in their white paper and in the article, they talk about 2% fees on every primary listing. There's also other fees in their uh, protocol fees that Immutable takes, and that's what keeps the platform running. So I didn't include the other fees, trying to be very conservative here. So just on the 2% fees out of the 9 million in the last 30 days, so that will come out to about 180,000 uh, of fees collected in June. And they said 20% of those fees go to the staking pool. So 20% of that 180,000, that's $36,000 that could go out in staking. And then if you'll remember that your portion of that staking pool is based on the, the percent of tokens that you have relative to the other stakers. So obviously that's a variable we just don't have good insight into. We don't know how many people are gonna go out there and stake. But let's just say, let's be very conservative. If we had 0.1%, so this is one, one, one tenth of a percent here, all the way up to a full percent, these are the different options or the different rewards that you could be eligible for. So just to give you some idea, and obviously as we go, we'll learn much more about how many people are staking and what kind of rewards we should expect. So one cool piece that I did notice, it says the first cycle will include the rewards that have been collected since the launch of protocol fees. So this will likely be, I don't know uh, when they officially launch protocol fees, but it'll be much more than just one month's worth. So you're incentivized to get your token staked sooner than later. So you can get that first wave that goes all the way back to when those protocol fees were launched. I think over time, the more people that start staking, obviously you'll own a less of a share and you'll have less rewards in general. And lastly, just want to touch on the NFT piece. So you are required to make one NFT trade per cycle or per month. There's a lot of grumbling about that. And I wasn't too happy about that. But if we think about, um, and I'm not, I don't want to pick on Gods Unchained, but if we go out here and look at their prices, you can see there are NFTs out there for a penny. Uh, one US one cent of USD. So I think as long as you you know set a reminder in your phone to come out here and make a trade for one USD, and it may even be a sale. So you may be able to buy this and then sell it the next month and kind of just recoup that one cent that you put out there. So that should check that box for you. And for one cent to have access to be able to stake these uh, tokens that are likely just sitting out there anyway, this may be a good approach. And I can guarantee you this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my tokens out of Coinbase, that's where they're sitting right now, and get them over into my Immutable X and Layer 2 wallet. And I'll keep you guys posted on actual rewards received and as we learn more about this staking program, what we should expect in the future. I'll also shoot another video in the future on Immutable X in general, what they're all about and the key um, factors they bring to the table. But I hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, a like or subscribe would be greatly appreciated. If there are other projects that you're interested in and you'd like to see a video kind of digging into all the intricacies, I'd be happy to add that to my list of uh, projects that I'm looking to dig into. But with that, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap. Thanks for watching the Trustless Treasure Show, and we'll see you next time.